Well, it's been about six weeks since the launch of the project Sand Dollar at Exuma by the Central Bank of the Bahamas. Sand Dollar is the first of its kind virtual currency designed to better serve communities like the Bahamas, uniquely spread over a series of islands and keys. Governor of the Central Bank, John Rose, said during a power breakfast organized by the Bahamas Chamber of Commerce and Employers Confederation earlier this week that as technology influences how business is conducted in today's world, it's important to consider all the players in the business market, especially those in outer communities. When we address financial inclusion in the Bahamas, and we talk about making our payment system efficient, it means that irrespective of where people live in the Bahamas, they have to experience those improvements. And in some cases, depending on where they live today, they need better access. Co-chair for the project, Cleopatra Davis, says merchants cashing in on their profits remain somewhat of a technical issue. But as the bank presses on with Sand Dollar, the goal of making it easier to do business in the country remains the same. We're trying to work out and work out quickly is the ability for merchants in particular to be able to cash out once they've accumulated uh, certain receipts of Sand Dollar. They need to be able to easily deposit that into a financial institution's bank account. Digital payments and the use of the digital infrastructure is the way that the world is moving. We as a central bank, we're trying to take uh, progressive steps in ensuring that we have those facilities available in our economy. And we also want persons to understand that this is supposed to ease uh, doing business in our country. 